China's fourth aircraft carrier, which is being built at the Dalian shipyard, is indeed under construction. This vessel is expected to be a significant development in China's naval expansion efforts, following the patterns of its previous carriers. However, specific details about its design, capabilities, and operational readiness are still largely under wraps, contributing to its mysterious existence. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. Key Aspects of the 4th Aircraft Carrier 1. Type and Design Unlike the first three carriers, which were either purchased from foreign countries, Varyak, the basis for Liaoning, or built based on foreign designs, Shanghai class, the basis for Shandong, and the third, Type 003, Fujian, is the most advanced aircraft carrier ever built by China with sophisticated electromagnetic aircraft launch system, CATOBAR, EMALS. The fourth carrier is reportedly being built from the ground up as a completely indigenous design. This suggests it will incorporate advanced technologies and an electromagnetic aircraft launch system similar to that of the Fujian aircraft carrier, enhancing its capabilities. 2. Stealth and Radar Systems There is speculation that the new carrier may incorporate stealth technology and advanced radar systems, reflecting the advancements seen in other Chinese naval platforms like the Type 055 destroyer. 3. Aircraft Complement While specifics are not confirmed, the carrier is expected to support a mix of fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, and potentially even future UCAVs, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, enhancing its airborne early warning and control AEW and C, capabilities. 4. Power Plant One of the most intriguing aspects is the potential use of a nuclear reactor for propulsion, which would significantly extend its range and endurance compared to the conventional powered Liaoning, Shandong, and Fujian. However, it remains unclear whether this carrier will be nuclear-powered or stick with conventional propulsion. 5. Operational Deployment The strategic role of the fourth carrier is not fully disclosed. It could be used to bolster China's blue water capabilities, enable long-range projection of power, and potentially play a key role in the South China Sea, East China Sea, even in the Indian Ocean, and beyond. Impact on Naval Power Dynamics The existence and eventual deployment of China's fourth aircraft carrier will further enhance its naval capabilities, contributing to its aim of becoming a globally significant blue water navy. It underscores China's commitment to expanding its maritime reach and influence, potentially altering regional and global naval power dynamics. China's expanding naval capabilities, exemplified by the development and deployment of aircraft carriers like the Type 003, Fujian aircraft carrier, have significant geopolitical implications and pose various challenges both regionally and globally. The response to China's naval expansion is multifaceted, involving military, diplomatic, and economic dimensions. Challenges 1. Regional Security Tensions China's growing naval capabilities can heighten tensions in the Asia-Pacific region, particularly in areas where territorial disputes exist, such as the South China Sea and the East China Sea. Countries with competing claims or interests may feel threatened, leading to an arms race or increased military posturing. 2. Balancing Act for the US and Allies The United States, with its strategic interests in maintaining a balance of power in the Asia-Pacific region, faces the challenge of reassuring allies while avoiding direct confrontation with China. This requires delicate diplomacy and potentially significant military adjustments. 3. Economic and Maritime Interests China's naval expansion underscores its commitment to protecting and projecting its economic and maritime interests. This can lead to increased assertiveness in maritime security and potentially conflict with other nations' interests, especially in critical trade routes. Implications 1. Shift in Naval Power Dynamics China's growing naval capabilities represent a shift in global naval power dynamics, challenging the long-standing dominance of the United States as the world's preeminent naval power. This could lead to a re-evaluation of naval strategies and alliances worldwide. 2. Increased Global Presence With enhanced naval capabilities, 
China is likely to increase its global presence, participating in or asserting its interests in international security matters, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief operations. This could influence international norms and practices. 3. Diplomatic and Economic Ramifications The global response to China's naval expansion can strain diplomatic relations, potentially leading to new alliances or the reconfiguration of existing ones. Economically, it may impact trade and investment flows, as nations adjust their policies and partnerships in response to the changing power dynamics. Global Response 1. Military Adjustments Nations, particularly those in the Asia-Pacific region and China's allies, may undertake military modernization and expansion efforts to counterbalance China's naval capabilities. This could include investments in advanced naval technology, anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, capabilities, and enhanced cooperation with allies. 2. Diplomatic Initiatives There will likely be increased diplomatic efforts to manage and mitigate tensions arising from China's naval expansion. This could involve forums like the United Nations, ASEAN, and the Quad, India, Japan, Australia, and the US, focusing on maritime security, freedom of navigation, and international law. 3. Economic and Trade Policies Nations and international organizations may adjust economic and trade policies to address the implications of China's naval expansion. This could include initiatives aimed at ensuring open access to trade routes, supporting economic development in countries affected by regional tensions, and diversifying supply chains. The fourth aircraft carrier, which is expected to be a significant leap in terms of design, capabilities, and potential missions compared to its predecessors. While specific details are subject to China's military secrecy and could evolve, we can infer potential features, capabilities, and missions based on known developments and trends in Chinese naval aviation. Features 1. Nuclear or Advanced Conventional Propulsion One of the most anticipated features is the type of propulsion system. There has been speculation about whether this carrier will be nuclear-powered, which would be a significant step up in terms of endurance and strategic capabilities, or if it will continue with advanced conventional propulsion, likely featuring improved fuel efficiency and speed. 2. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMALS. The fourth carrier is rumored to incorporate an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, similar to the US Navy's Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMALS. This technology allows for the launch of heavier or more advanced aircraft, including those with heavier payloads, enhancing operational flexibility. 3. Advanced Air Wing Composition The carrier is expected to host a more diverse and advanced air wing, potentially including the J-31, or a variant, as its primary fighter, anti-submarine warfare, ASW, aircraft, and early warning and control, AEW and C, platforms. The integration of drones and UCAVs, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, is also a possibility, enhancing its reconnaissance and strike capabilities. Capabilities 1. Global reach. With potential nuclear propulsion or significantly enhanced conventional propulsion, the carrier would have extended global reach, enabling Chinese Navy to project power and protect maritime interests worldwide. 2. Enhanced aircraft launch and recovery. The inclusion of EMALS and advanced arresting gear would significantly enhance the launch and recovery capabilities, allowing for a wider range of aircraft operations, including those with heavier payloads or specialized missions. 3. Multi-domain operations. The carrier's air wing, with its mix of manned and unmanned platforms, would be capable of conducting operations across air, sea, and land domains, providing comprehensive situational awareness and strike capabilities. Potential Missions 1. Maritime Security The carrier could play a central role in securing China's maritime interests, including escorting merchant fleets through critical choke points, anti-piracy operations, and countering maritime threats. 2. Freedom of Navigation Operations FONOPs. It could be used to assert China's claims in contested areas such as the South China Sea, East China Sea, and the broader Indo-Pacific potentially conducting FONOPs to challenge international norms. 3. Power Projection With global reach and multi-domain operation capabilities, the carrier would enable China to project power in distant regions, supporting peacekeeping, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief operations, 
as well as potentially intervening in regional conflicts. 4. Strategic Deterrence A nuclear-powered carrier would represent a significant strategic deterrent, signaling China's status as a major maritime power and enhancing its nuclear triad, comprising land-based ICBMs, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, and strategic bombers. The Type 003 Fujian Aircraft Carrier China's third aircraft carrier and the first to be conventionally powered with an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS, represents a significant leap in the People's Liberation Army Navy's capabilities. While much of the information surrounding the Fujian is subject to China's usual secrecy, several details and recent developments highlight its power and strategic importance. 1. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMALS. The Fujian is equipped with an EMALS, a technology that uses electromagnetic power instead of steam catapult systems to launch aircraft. This innovation allows for the launch of heavier or more advanced aircraft, including those with heavier payloads, enhancing operational flexibility and efficiency. It also reduces the maintenance requirements and turnaround time, making the carrier more effective in sustained operations. 2. Stealth Capabilities The Fujian is designed with a more streamlined and stealth-oriented profile compared to its predecessors. This includes a smaller island, the command and control structure on the ship, and the integration of radar-absorbent materials to reduce its radar signature, making it more difficult to detect. 3. Advanced Air Wing the Fujian is expected to carry a more advanced and diverse air wing. While specifics are limited, it is anticipated to include the J-15 fighter, an Su-33 derivative, J-31, or a variant, as its primary fighter, anti-submarine warfare, ASW, aircraft, and early warning and control, AEW and C, platforms. The integration of drones and UCAVs, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, is also a possibility enhancing its reconnaissance and strike capabilities. 4. Strategic Missile Cruisers Escort Recent developments suggest that the Fujian will be escorted by Type 055 Renhai-class destroyers, which are equipped with long-range cruise missiles and advanced air defense missiles. This combination provides the Fujian with a formidable anti-surface, anti-submarine, and air defense capability, enabling it to operate more effectively in contested environments. 5. Strategic deterrence and power projection. The Fujian, with its advanced capabilities, significantly enhances China's strategic deterrence and power projection capabilities. It allows China to project power in the Western Pacific, assert its claims in contested maritime areas, and potentially conduct operations in distant regions, supporting peacekeeping, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief operations. 6. Testing and commissioning. As of July 2024, the Fujian has been undergoing three sea trials, a crucial phase for testing its systems and capabilities. Successful completion of these trials and its eventual commissioning will mark a significant milestone in China's naval modernization efforts, demonstrating its ability to build advanced naval platforms domestically. Strategic Importance the Fujian strengthens China's naval capabilities, enabling it to more effectively assert its interests in the Indo-Pacific region, including the South China Sea, East China Sea, and beyond. The integration of EMALS and other advanced technologies on the Fujian showcases China's naval engineering capabilities, signaling its intention to be a leading naval power. By enhancing its naval capabilities, China aims to deter potential adversaries and negotiate from a position of strength, influencing regional security dynamics and international maritime policies. China's fourth aircraft carrier, while not explicitly named in the discussion as of April 2023, is expected to build upon the advancements and strategic objectives set by its predecessor, the Type 003 Fujian. The key points regarding its potential impact on regional and global security dynamics include 1. Advanced Technologies The fourth carrier is anticipated to incorporate even more advanced technologies, including potentially nuclear propulsion and further enhancements in stealth and electromagnetic launch capabilities, making it a more potent asset in naval operations. 2. Expanded Air Wing It is likely to carry an even more advanced air wing, 
incorporating the latest generation of fighter jets, stealth aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, enhancing its operational flexibility and strike capabilities. 3. Strategic Deterrence The carrier will significantly bolster China's strategic deterrence, enabling it to project power more effectively in contested maritime areas and potentially conduct operations that support its broader strategic objectives. 4. Indo-Pacific Influence With its advanced capabilities, the fourth carrier will strengthen China's ability to influence the security and economic landscapes in the Indo-Pacific region, potentially challenging the status quo and increasing tensions with regional allies of the United States. 5. Global Presence The deployment of such advanced carriers indicates China's ambition to not only secure its maritime interests in the Asia-Pacific but also to establish a global naval presence, capable of conducting operations in distant regions. 6. Technological and Strategic Demonstration The carrier's deployment will serve as a demonstration of China's naval engineering capabilities and strategic ambitions, signaling its intention to be a leading naval power on the global stage. 7. Deterrence and Diplomacy Enhancing its naval capabilities, China aims to deter potential adversaries, influence regional security dynamics, and negotiate from a position of strength, potentially reshaping international maritime policies and alliances. In summary, China's fourth aircraft carrier, expected to be even more advanced than the Type 003 Fujian, will significantly impact regional and global security dynamics by enhancing China's naval capabilities, allowing it to more effectively project power, assert its maritime interests, and influence international policies and alliances. This development underscores the strategic competition in the maritime domain and the evolving balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's latest military development. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one.